In this video, I'm going to show you how to make manual transactions on someone's record in association with an organization that has a fee. In this case, it's a trip and we're using online registration. So everyone that registers online has the fee set. They know how much it's going to cost and then they have the option to pay it all or to make a deposit. But if someone walks in, like John Carpenter did, and he did not register online and he wants to make his payments in cash or check, you add him to the organization manually and then you can click the member dialog or open the member dialog by clicking his member type and use the green transaction button. I'm going to select that and there's only one option and that's add transaction. The first thing you have to do is set that total fee. Remember he didn't register online so you've got to put the fee in manually. And if he were there to make a payment, then you could add that. I'm going to do this in two steps just to show you um, how to do this. So you can, you registered manually. And notice I'm not putting a payment. I'm just setting the fee. I know if he was there with cash, you could do that in one, one transaction. But in this case, I'm just setting the fee because he came in and he registered online. Now, remember, if someone is, he registered manually, if someone is registering manually, you will want to add those missing questions so that you can come back and get those answers. All right, so I've set the fee. Let's look at his member dialog again. Now you see that he has the fee of $1,430 and he's paid nothing. Let's say he comes back in a week and now he's got a check for you. You go to that same transaction button. This time there are two options. When someone is giving you money, you're going to add a transaction. If you're giving a scholarship or changing the cost of the trip for some other reason, you make an adjustment. But when money is changing hands, you use this transaction. So the overall label is transaction, but there are two options. In this case, he has money in hand, so I'm going to add a transaction show it so that it shows that he paid something. Notice the balance due is up here, and I can't do anything to that. Once that's set, uh, it's set unless you make an adjustment. But he's standing in front of me with $250 and it's check number 816. Notice I'm not using punctuation with the dollar amount. Then I click the blue Add Transaction button. In the description, if he had cash, you could indicate that he paid in cash. I'm going to click Continue, which will take me back to the member dialog. And now you see that it shows he paid $250 and now his balance has changed and he owes $1,180. If he said, you know, I'd like to make the rest of my payments using my credit card or my bank account, can I do that? Yes, you can. Those that registered online would have received an email confirmation containing a pay link. But since John did not register online, you can actually email that pay link to him. Go to his member dialog, hover over it, right click, select copy, and then open up an email and paste that link in there and he it'll be a long link it'll look a little different than it does in the email when you register uh, but it will allow him to make subsequent payments online so you can do that uh, what about someone that walks in maybe they registered online and they just need to make a payment you can do that Vicki I click on her member dialog she's already paid the deposit but now she wants to make a cash payment you'll do just what you did for John it's not an adjustment because she has money. Make an adjustment and she's got $75 in cash, paid in cash. If you want to put paid in cash too and put the name of the person uh, that actually accepted the payment, maybe it was to the next gen office. That way you know, can follow that money trail and they will send that in to get it deposited to the bank but that's a good idea to put that in there. And I'm going to show you where it will display later. Click Continue to go back to her member dialog. And now you see that her balance has changed. It's gone down and the amount paid has gone up. We look at the transactions. You always click the View Transactions link when you want to actually see the transactions for that person, for that organization. And it should always have this number right here as the ID and that's the initial uh, transaction ID which we call the parent ID and this transaction that came after that uh, will show you 
it will be linked to that when you notice the original ID is this, and she paid in cash to NextGen. So when you click the little I for more information, it's going to tell you exactly what happened. All right, let me return to the organization and close her member dialog. Now there's there are two more options that I want to show you. One is that I have a person who is going, who is a staff member, and is going to get a discount because she is going to be a counselor. You can go to her member dialog, and you're going to make an adjustment. She's not paying anything at this point. You're just going to give her a discount. You can do this for a, a counselor, or you can do it for somebody that is getting a scholarship. Uh, anything that you need to to use that for that you want to reduce the amount for one person. And at this point, I'm going to make a fee adjustment. She's not giving me any more money, so I don't want to show that she actually paid more money. I just want to reduce the amount of the fee. I'll make a fee adjustment, and it says a negative number increases the balance. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. But for this person, she is a counselor, so I'm going to give her a discount of $500. All right, this is the discount for a counselor. Add transaction. I'm using a positive number so that it will reduce the balance instead of increase it. If you click close, that'll just take you back to the org members page. But if you click continue, it will always take you back to that same member dialog where you can check your work. She didn't pay any more, but her balance due has reduced. You notice that the fee changed. That's what happens when you make an adjustment to either raise or lower the fee you'll see the change affected over here and over here, but not in the amount paid. So she got a discount. What if everyone on the trip has to pay a little bit more because when you actually created the online registration and got people to register, um, you had not planned to do a particular activity, and now you are, and it's going to raise the cost of the trip. Or perhaps the cost of the rooms went up. Or if you're taking a flight, the flight went up. I've got 19 people in this organization, and I don't want to do it for everyone. I want to do it one time for all of them. I'm going to go to the Members tab right here at the top, and there's a blue arrow. Click that, and I want to update members. It says this will update information on 19 current members. And I'm going to use the Transaction button here for all 19. And the only option is to make a fee adjustment. You would never, uh, we don't allow you to make a transaction here where there's money involved. We want those to be done on an individual basis if someone brings in cash or checks so that you capture that individually for them and you can put the check number or that they gave you cash. But for a fee adjustment, you can do that for all of them at one time. Now remember, a negative number increases the balance. So it has gone up by $25, and I'm going to apply that to everybody across the board, even the counselor. And the description is, whatever happened, increase in hotel room rate, or whatever the actual uh, thing that happened uh, was. You want to record that. So I add the transaction, and the transaction's completed. I close that, and now you've Put an adjust, additional adjustment on everyone's record. Let's look at Vicki. Click her member dialog, or click her member type to open the dialog, and look at her fee. It has gone up. If you look at the transactions, you'll see exactly why it went up. You see that she paid her initial $250 deposit. The $75 was when she paid cash, but now there's a negative. Her balance was $1,105. That negative amount caused it to go up. And if I go over here with the letter I, the increase in the hotel room rate. Every person in the organization will have that same uh, increase in their fee. So that's how you can do that for everyone, whether it goes up or down. Now, if you needed to exclude someone, you could do that by using the filter. And you could check all. And then you could remove a couple of people. Maybe you had already added that rate or they registered uh, after you change the fee on the organization. You could just uncheck those, click filter, and then now you only have 17. And then when you make that transaction, it will only go to those members. So that's how you can make manual transactions and adjustments.